basically a removal is a 10 step process. I'm going to try and do this without dropping it on my head. Because I should be wearing my hard hat anyway. protein in there, do we? <laughs> So if somebody, 
grab it. Oh, yep. sorry, here. There you go. So that's it. That's your, that's your filter. This is your can. This can will actually pull out um, access to the um, to the motor. Um, you can get it if, by pulling this section out. Access to the controls. Control panel will be right up in here. So here's the here's the data cables, the blue cables right here. I believe these are the data cables for the unit. And these go back over to the controller. And they plug there's a the the actual control panels here. You can pull the you can pull the panel off to get to the get to the power, get to the control itself. These units, something multiple. These are um, no, but they are actually they're they're made by Johnson or they they were bought out by Johnson Controls, so. <laughs> so should be in business in here too. Make sure. Thank you, guys. Northeast Air System, which is in you know, their Essex. I know. Well. Sounds better than Belgium or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About to a local company. Yeah. So the, what the only thing I'm right. So it's, it's looking it's for sending a pressure. certain yeah. certain fan speed. And if we're, not, if we're not getting the flow, then like if one of those is plugged off, it'll ramp all the way up or yeah, all so the way down. Yeah, so you, you'll get an alarm from down here and you'll see that the fan is screaming. Yeah, exactly. It's screaming trying to meet differential pressure. That would be so this is plug solid or <coughs> or something along or something else is going wrong because <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. that's that's what was, was our first indication when we came we had one fan that was um, ramped way out of control but we pulled the filter out filter was fine so check the controls nothing was wrong everything was plugged in properly go back to the controller I couldn't figure it out so I called the HV miraculously. It's not miraculous. They're miracle workers, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. They got it all figured. He's a young man, so he'll be there a long time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, make sure we get put back in there nice and square. A little bit on an eighth inch from my bracket. Okay. Hold it in place. I'm just an old tenderfoot engineer, so we're talking maybe 15. <laughs> I'm like veal, you know? <laughs> Soft and tasty. <laughs> Kept in the dark. You're not recording that, are you? <laughs> yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So when you get a new filter, it's obviously the gel the gel seal is going to be is going to be uh, you know, not preset. So it's going to take a little bit more work than I'm doing right now. Um, there's actually so there's three different types of logging requests. There's a uh, look only what they call it, just uh, viewer. There's a operator mode, and then there's a uh, maintenance mode. So the viewer just allows you to see, um, you know, the code The code for that is like one, 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 one. So uh, that just allows you to see the operations of the, the four different systems. The um, operator mode allows you to set fan speeds and, um, 
and Steve will probably go through this anyways, but um, it'll allow you to set fan speeds and change the, the, the dynamics of the, the filters themselves. And then there's a maintenance mode, which allows you to go in and do a complete setup of each and individual fan filter unit. And that's the secret password. Oh. <laughs> I think you Oh, did it? Oh, it shut off. Oh. How's the battery looking? <laughs> it's been charging for the last four days. <laughs> you think? <laughs> but not of us. So this is the main screen. Uh, <coughs> down here in the corner is where the user access is. Uh, right now, it's pretty much on viewer control. Uh, has, uh, the viewer access. And there's the, there's the facility uh, control. So you come here, and it'll show you at the bottom there's zero running of the fans, and uh, nine of them are in standby. And then you have a sort of an overview, we've got one error and one stopped, which is probably probably the same fan which we just took apart down, down the hall. Um, if you go to commands, this is global commands and it'll, it'll send commands to all the, all the fans at one time. So if you wanted them all to stop or all to start, anything like that, you come here. Right now they're all in standby. You're on, you're on the viewer setting, so it's not going to allow you to do anything. And just so you guys know, standby mode is just a, a lower RPM rate. Is it still moving right. air? Right, this one is, yeah, this one's still on. Yeah, right. So they're all still moving air, but just at a, at a reduced rate. Right. So there's a few options. If you hit enter on that, on the standby, there's a few options. It'll blink. You can have them offline. You can stop them all, put them in a standby, run them, and then there's auto mode, which would control to the the set point of the room. So we'll go back to standby. And then if you go to groups, you'll see right at the top it says gowning W006. That's this room that the controller is in. Says there's says there's one error. It might be because of the door. <coughs> so right now it's set at 55 percent, and it says RPM's high, probably because we we don't have the seal from the door, because it wasn't when I first went in here. Um, so right now the RPM's is running up around 14 point uh, 1408 RPM. There's settings in the background that will um, have those settings so that it'll know what the limits are for the RPMs. Um, so that's the only fan on here. To here, if you hit over uh, to the right, it'll go to the next room, which has got three fans in it. If you hit fans, Number two is in, uh, it's, uh, fan number two, which is the first one in the next room, um, and it's address two as well. All the fan numbers are uh, the same as the address number of the unit. So this one's in standby. It's set at 15%, and it's only running at 700 and around 50 RPM. And then if you hit to the right again, it'll go to fan three, which is this middle fan in that room. And that one's running a little bit higher RPM just based on the um, reading it's getting from, from the control board and the uh, air sensor that it has on it. And then number four is running at 900 RPM and it's also in standby. And that's the last one on there. Um, okay. So it's still in that room. If you go to commands, you can command those three 
uh, fan separately from the system, from the rest of the system. So right now they're all in standby. You could hit enter. And I believe it's auto mode, right? The oh, we put them in run. Just put them in run. Okay. So if you hit run, hit enter, those three fans will go into running mode and they'll start to ramp up. So the number two is ramping up, three is ramping up, and four is ramping up to 55% that they're set at. This is all based on uh, balancing of the system and making sure that we get the, the supply air into the room and the differential pressure across the doors. So when they actually start up, they should start with the back No, wait, if, if you're starting from zero, just command them all on. And then the, 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 the balancing of the system will, um, will get the airflow into that space and across the doors as required. Get them all on because it also commands on over there. So then, if you hit, there you all set. Yep. Sorry. All right. No problem. Uh, so if you hit over to the right again, it'll go to the last part of the clean room, which has six fans in the space, and they're all on standby. And it'll start with fan number five. And you'll scroll over the right arrow key to uh, the next fan, which is number six. And then there's seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's, those are the six fans that are in that space. And then the last one is the one we just did down the hall. Uh, we removed the filter from it and uh, has one fan in it since standby. And but it's in air because I believe the power is off. You can actually shut that one off. Okay. Yep. Yep. So so another way you can shut it off is over by standby. You can hit F1. situation four breakers so yeah, there's three there's Group three break. there should be three <coughs> fan filter units on on a single breaker so there's there's two breakers for the six in the back there's one breaker for this one and then there's I believe there's one for this one and the next one okay and so you can think yeah the so there. there's yeah so there's the there's the label for the power and this is actually obviously the FFE one so I kind of correlates with everything that's on the display screen plus right. what's in there right now. Yep. <coughs> so now when we go back uh, to the facility, it has still has one air because one's not powered, but it has one stopped. Um, and then when we go back, this is how you access the user. Right now, you can see your in user mode. Right. So you can set it to view mode, 
and then anybody can just see what's going on. Oh, I see. Right. So, you, okay. so when you highlight it on view mode, you type in, I think it's 1111. Okay, so that was viewer mode. Right. Yeah. So now if you, if you want to go into user mode, which is what your Randy or Madalena would be using. Is that two? I think that's two, 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 two. So then you hit two, enter, and then now you're back. When you go back to one, it'll show you that you're in user mode. And then there is the master mode, which we yeah. set all the settings up originally under that. Right, so. and we'll, we'll tell you that code once we turn the cameras off. <laughs> well, logically, it's three, three, three. <laughs> it's not logical, though. Oh. <laughs> well, it was originally. It was originally. It was originally. guessed it. Randy never guessed it. <laughs> originally, it was. Like, wow, well, I'm going to have to change it now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was, 333? Three, three, it three, was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would be impressed if it was something else that he guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of a sequence there, so pattern. <laughs> so the only time we had an issue with the one that wasn't communicating is if you go to do we ha do we have to be in master yeah. in order to to see the address? Yes. Well, to to control the fan separately. You can control the fans globally, but can't you? You can control the fans separately through the user interface. So. Okay, so that's how it is. Um, so if you're on fan one, you can you can go to F1, and then you can hit there's offline. There's auto mode, there's run mode, standby and stop. So if I hit four, it's going to stop this one. And it should shut off. Yep. Uh, standby. This okay. one says run. We'll, we'll address that when we're done. Yep. 
Yeah, I was hoping to. Um, let's see if we can do that one another. Over the fan two. Stand by. Just went that stop and now that one has that group has one that stopped and the other two are in standby. Um, so you can do that and uh, just stop one of them at a time if you wanted to, or you could stop all three of them through, through this uh, portion of the menu right here. one of them to run or uh, put it back to standby and that one will start back up. So there's not much else at all that we can do with the controller under right. under the user settings. Yeah. Okay. You want to go into uh, maintenance mode? Okay. You want to pause your camera for a minute? So now we're in the. Uh, the settings mode, the master mode, and uh, system settings now has some more options. There's standby clock and calendar where you can set up times uh, throughout um, throughout the day where it would turn on and shut off automatically. Standby or on? Yeah. So if there's a regular schedule, that's something that can be utilized. Then there's manage passwords, which would just change the passwords that we just went over. Um, there's a set clock and alarm, uh, and alarm enable. So right now the alarm is enabled, which is going back to the um, Johnson Controls system, and the clock is set. is not used. Um, there is a Ethernet IP address which I guess I think you can hook it up to a regular direct network and access the system from a computer but it's not set up at this point. Um, that would be the settings um, that they would have to use or they could be changed. There's the node uh, properties so this is node one, which is the fan fan zero zero one, which is the one in the galley room. Um, group name is group number is one, and the fan number is one. There's a low RPM and a high RPM. Uh, the high RPM is fourteen hundred, and it was running at fourteen oh eight, and that's why it was indicating a high RPM. Um, there's an error delay of zero zero four. I'm not sure if it's four minutes or four seconds. Um, and then there's there's a a node on, uh, which is basically enabling the the unit to run. And then if you go to the next one, it'll just go up to two address two. Um, 
fan too. And I think they all pretty much have the same properties and settings. Um, the one the group changes and then yeah, the last one um, uh, we had boosted up the high RPM to 15 just because that one was having issues at one point. safer just to go back and change it back to user so nothing happens in between 